Well, Governor Kay Ivey voiced her opinion as she urged the Senate to pass legislation to put gambling on the ballot in Alabama. Now, Sutton Smith has more on where the bill stands now and what effects it can have statewide. At the 2024 legislative session in Montgomery, Alabama, lawmakers like Alabama District 16 Representative Brian Brynjark started with a gambling bill on their desks. From the casinos and sports gaming, gambling, um, that money is to go to the general fund. And they're estimating there'll be $500 million a year um, if it ever, if it passed. If passed by the Alabama legislature and signed by Governor Kay Ivey, Alabama could add this four to $500 million economic sector. This would also keep revenue in state rather than out. And it's definitely money that, that's leaking out of our state now. It's just whether or not our citizens want the other things that come along with that kind of activity. Bryn Yark isn't a gambler, but believes Alabamians should have their own say on the issue. I don't bet on games, but I'm also for freedom, and I don't think I should be the one telling people that they don't have the right to vote on it. If I trust them to ask them for their vote, then I should trust them enough to vote on that issue for themselves. Legislators like Brynjart did not ignore the concern of gambling and the potential effects of it. Religious leaders all over the state of Alabama use their positions right here in the pulpit to preach to their congregations and legislators about the potential effects of gambling. You know, those that are making less than $75,000 a year, when they gamble, they are gambling the same amount as those who have more, and they're gambling a higher percentage of their income, so it's actually hurting them as an individual and a family. Scott McCown is a minister at Central Church of Christ in Tuscaloosa. He believes gambling addicts ignore the root of the issue. And I think the problem with gambling is it's not about it's not about the risk. It's about the desire to get something that you did not earn, something that belonged to somebody else. It is a form of legalized theft, I guess is the way to say it. While legalized gambling could add money that would help the state's economy, there's still many who question if the state is ready for the impacts of gambling. Local in Tuscaloosa, Sutton Smith, WVUA 23 News. If this bill passes and is signed into law, it will be on the ballot in August. Well, Governor Ivy joined Meta officials and state and local leaders for a major economic announcement today. She announced